The state of Kuwait is financing a housing project for the displaced people in Ma'rib. This project will help alleviating the suffering of accommodation among IDPs. Yemeni Ma'rib province's deputy governor laid the cornerstone of a housing project for displaced families funded by the Kuwaiti Endowment and supervised by Tanmeya Charity. In a press statement, the deputy governor said that the project consists of 60 housing units. He expressed deep appreciation and gratitude for Kuwait's role in this relief and development project. And he added that these types of interventions are a direct help in alleviating the sufferings of the displaced and a direct solution to the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Director of the unit managing the camps accommodating the displaced confirmed that this project is a type of a humanitarian intervention to save the lives of the displaced people and protect them from harsh weather and severe cold. Reports distributed by the United Nations Office for Humanitarian Affairs, the World Food Program and the United Nations Population Fund confirmed that displacement, poverty, disruption of livelihoods and access to public services need durable solutions. According to these reports, the shelter and non-food items cluster estimated that there are 7.5 million people living without basic household items, and this amount is expected to increase by 2% every year. A recent study also showed that the need for shelter has increased significantly, with more than 5.3 million people facing acute needs in this aspect, and asserted that the internally displaced face countless challenges. According to these UN data, among the 4.5 million displaced people, at least 25% of them have been displaced twice or more, while more than two-thirds of the displaced people live in rented accommodation or hosting places, while 82% of the displaced people reportedly internally and those interviewed about serious difficulties they face in paying rent, while about 76% stated that they had not paid the rent for more than three months, which increases the risk of evacuation, especially for low-income families who are less able to meet basic needs.